stick it up on me, would you? Ah. Ooh, look at this beautiful float I've been finding out here. There's tons of it everywhere. I know there's a vein around here somewhere. Ooh, look at that. I got granite up on the hills. Quartz monzonite over there. Man, I'll tell you what, this is, ooh, this is the perfect place. So, what are we doing today? Well, you know what we're doing today. That's right, we're gonna sink a shaft, son of Jim. <laughs> the thing they said it couldn't be done. Well, I'm gonna do it. And look what I brought. That's right. Ugh. An auger. Now, why am I bringing this? Because it's great to start your holes for your shaft with these things. And you can also sample with these. A lot of people don't talk about that, but I did a couple videos if you remember back. And what you do is you drill down in the ground, all the dirt that comes up, you pan it out, see if there's any gold in there. Makes things a whole lot easier than digging. So, and of course it's not foolproof, but it's better than doing it by hand. So, anyway, I'm gonna take this over to a spot, see if I can sink me a shaft. Cause I know that's what you wanna see, isn't that right? Mm -hmm. You better say yes. So you know what I'm gonna say? Mm -hmm. So come on, let's go! <laughs> All right, so what am I gonna do? Well, I'm gonna map out my shaft right here, and I'm gonna auger down as far as I can, then I'll dig it by hand after that. Of course, the biggest problem I'm gonna have here is what? These big old rocks. See that, son of Jim? So anyway, I'm gonna get to digging. Yeah, that looks like a good spot right there. I got all this alluvial deposit coming down. I got a gold mine up there on the hill. I bet you can't see that. You could just taste that gold, can't you? So anyway, I'm gonna get to digging, so you're gonna have to give me some time Cause it's gonna take time to dig a shaft, son, that's why. I forgot, what was I gonna say? Hmm, hmm. So come on, let's go! Got ants. Ants in my pants make me do the hula dance. Now the fun part, son. That's right. Remember, son, in this world there's two kinds of people. Those with loaded guns and those who dig. Today I dig. I hope you're happy. Sixteen men on a dead man's chest. Yo ho ho and a bottom of Woo hey, how do you like them beans? Who needs a gym? Just be a gold miner. I want to show you something because I had a few people ask me this question. Get on down to my digging, son. You see these large rocks down here? I had a few guys ask me, Jeff, what happens if I'm doing some drift mining in alluvial gravel and I run into one of these guys that's too big? Well, that's simple, son. You're going to get yourself a sea air blaster. I'll leave a link down below. Ooh, I tell you what, make sure order work of these guys. Just drill the right holes, blast it, and you're good to go. And this time it's legal. Woo wee, I tell you what, this will work ya. Ah, but I love that fresh air. And the smell of creosote in the morning. Smells like victory. And hopefully there's some gold down here to make all this worth it. And then I gotta hide this mine too. <laughs> Nobody can find it. Ooh, so you know what I'm gonna say, huh? <laughs> so come on, let's go! Yeah, what you're gonna do is you're gonna square up your hole. And then keep in mind, and not only does the sets have to fit in there, but the lagging too. Because I've seen a lot of guys try to dig this and forget about the lagging and they can't get it in. Now, one of the big questions I've been getting lately is, Jeff, how are you going to hang your lagging? Well, let me show you, son of Jim. Right there. Now, in the old days, they used a one by one or a two by two strip of wood. And then they would just set the lagging on top of it and then the next one would go underneath. Well, because I'm using such small timbers, I can't put a two by two there because it'll eat up too much space. So what do we do? We put angle iron on there, son of Jim. See that? All right, so we're gonna put our lagging on top of that. 
And then the next set will go underneath that. Make sense? It better. First thing I'm gonna do is do what? Put in my end bearing sets. I'm gonna put one here and one here. And then I'm gonna put my wall plates in. And then I'm gonna put my hanging bolts in. And then I'll put the next set in. And I'll hang them in there. So I'll get that together first. Ah, these dang bugs been flying in my ears all day. Urgh. Driving me out of my mind. So I'm gonna go ahead and start hanging this set so you can see what it looks like. One more thing, son of Jim. Come here, take a look at this. All right, see my, I got my flow sand right here. See that? Then I started getting my conglomerate gravel. See that? And then right down here, that's bedrock. That's schist. That's what schist looks like. See that? It's decomposing schist. You can see that it's traveling at about maybe a 20 degree dip. Let's get this thing put together, son of Jim, because I'm starving like Marvin. And I haven't had lunch all day. So you know what I'm going to say, huh? Do you know what I'm going to say, China? Ah, I don't know what that means. So come on, let's go. You got to make sure these guys are level because everything's going to be built off of this. You see that? You see it? It's going to be our end bearing plate right here. And it's very important that it's very level. Why? Because everything here is going to be sitting on top of that. And then eventually when you go down another 100 feet, you put another one in just to take the load off. Because sure using iced tea out here, all I got is bugs in my mouth and bees in my ears. And they ain't telling me anything I don't already know. So you know what I'm going to say, huh? So come on, let's go! Ooh, sticky bushes! I like sticky bushes. I think I'm gonna eat one. Yeah. All right, now the fun part. That's right. Say hello to my little friend. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Got my four posts in, you see that? One in each corner. Then you just tighten it up. And it brings it up in there. All right, I got it all bolted together down there nice and tight. So I'm gonna tap these guys together. Then I'm gonna drive a nail in there, son, to hold it all together. Thought I heard a noise. It is getting late in the day, you know, and the umpa umpa umps come out. Ooh, I better hurry. Cause this ain't deep enough for me to hide in. All right, let me hurry. Collar sticking up high enough to where all the other dirt can't come in. And I'll fill it and you'll see what that looks like. And of course you want your collar to be high so no dirt and rain and stuff like that gets in it. Let me get on to get on. Yeah, look at those joints, huh? Ooh, yeah, everything fits together nice. I like that. It looks real good. Look at that. Yeah. And look at that, I got room for my lagging back there. See my lagging strip? Back in there? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I tell you what, that is a workout. One more set of lagging and I'm done. Ooh, and then we can backfill this monker and go to town. I'm starving! Starving! One little rock. One little stinking rock back there. Ah! Ooh, I hate that. All right, last one. Ah. 
That looks good. I'll stick a rock back there just to wedge him in. All right, now, all I gotta do now is run a nail or two in here if I want to. I'm sure once I backfill all of this, it ain't going nowhere. But you can, you can put a nail or two nails. Just remember, you're at the very end of this lagging. You go to drive a nail in there, it might split. So you might wanna drill some pilot holes in there first. I know it's not going nowhere once I backfill all this, but it looks pretty good. Take a look inside. Come into my layer. <laughs> Whew. Then I can dig down and put in another set. All right, well, I'm gonna get on out of here. I'm tired. Been digging all day. You should try it sometime. And if you like today's episode, you know what to do. Come on now. So until next time, this is Jet Williams. And who? You better know who. That's who. Saying you want to dig a mine shaft, but you're not quite sure what to do. Come on now, son of Jim. I just made you a video. So get out there and make one too. Take care, everybody. <laughs>